You know, it's just fucking weird. Anyways, um, the fuck am I talking about? Uh, yeah, that's just sort of the option now in, in public where it's like if uh, – that's, that's the situation now when you get into a fight. Either you fight and you lose or you win and you get sued. <clears throat> Dude, I'm really sorry about my throat this week. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Like, did you guys see uh, – did I talk about – I'm so fucking out of it. Jersey Shore, was that – Last two weeks ago, this past week, this fucking guy starts talking to one of the castmates, all right, and he at, at a bar, and he's trying to cause a fight. He's just begging for a fight, and the kid keeps telling, you know, I don't want to talk to you, leave, leave, go away, and it finally escalates into a fight, and the kid from the Jersey Shore fucking mauls the kid, gets on a couple of knees, some, you know, the classic bar fight. It ends up on the ground, and the other guy's getting noogies to the back of the head, right? You guys know what noogies are? Is that an East Coast thing? Those are those short little quick punches that are just pretty much knuckle-based. It's like a, the Bruce Lee one-inch punch without the power. He's just sort of rapping on your head like it's a door. Um, and now, evidently, that kid's getting sued. It's like, for what? Because he won the fight? The other kid wanted the fight? I don't know. I, I think it's fucking stupid. And uh, then, of course, his girlfriend was really the one provoking it because the guy was ignoring him, and the girlfriend kept talking shit. Of course she does. Of course she talks shit because she doesn't have to fight him. It was hilarious. So then when they go to square off, the other guy's girlfriend actually starts walking up to the Jersey Shore kid. And it's just trying to, just standing there scratching at his face. And what's funny, she's doing it with one hand and her other hand is just hanging down at her side. She doesn't have it up blocking that side of her head. She doesn't need to because she knows she's not, he's not going to hit her. So the other girl causes the fight, escalates it to a fight, and then the other girl gets to walk up and just sort of takes swipes at this kid's face. Then the two guys fight. The fight ends. The Jersey Shore kid gets up. And then the girl, the other, the fucking Jersey Shore girl's going, oh, my God, oh, my God. And the kid's going, get the fuck away from me. You caused that. And um, at one point, I got to back up here. At one point during the fight, he was going, he's going, honey, stop it. Stop, just stop talking to the guy. And she wouldn't. So he, he pushed her. Not hard. Just push, you know, where you kind of go over a step and a half. And I swear to God, she goes back to the house, and who ends up feeling like the like the victim? She does. And she starts crying, and I'm sitting there saying to my girlfriend, you watch, you watch. She caused this fight. This guy just rolled around on, on the ground with this guy, and for all you know, he the, the guy's like a black belt in jujitsu, and he's going to fucking rip his ear off or stab him or God knows what. He's rolling around on this, you know, he actually gets punched in the fucking face. And now I swear the girl's crying about it. The girl who caused it is crying. And I said to my girl, I said, you watch, he's going to end up apologizing. And of course he does. And she's sitting there going, you traumatized me when you pushed me. Ugh. Fucking, I, I just, you know, I, I don't understand it. I, I, I guess I'll give the guy a pass because he's young. I was just, you know, I was just waiting to be like, I traumatized you? Really? You just caused a fucking fight. And not only that, as I'm fighting the guy, the other girl's chick is coming in, fucking hit me in the head, and you did nothing. 